another project again. We haven't finished the other project quite yet because of the weather. But the way the weather is, it allows us to get on here. So let's go through the garden gate. Here we are, typical urban garden. We've had a new conservatory. The garden's wet, it's damp. It's, old and little, it's not old in a lot of water. But this is the existing patio, so we're gonna have a nice meandering patio going round here, going down the side of the garage, round the back where that hot tub is gonna be, apparently, and then we're gonna have artificial grass. Watch how this turns out. Morning guys, uh, Johnny Boy here, and as usual I'd like to share what I'm doing. It's not because I think I'm better than anybody else, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing, and I want to share what I'm doing. And uh, so proud of the group at the moment, uh, on another subject, is that the group is, there's not an argument, no bitching, no nastiness, and that's what we want, it's about building communities. But what I want to talk about this morning is about what developers are actually doing in gardens. If you look round and look at the garden now, you'll be able to see the blue line where we're, where we're going to be digging out. But the old garden is holding not a huge amount of water, but it's soft. It's not good at all. The water's not really getting away. It's permeating slowly, but not getting away at a rate that it should do. And the reason for that is this. And it's usually always the same what we have here. This is the so-called topsoil, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. But if you look at that, absolutely solid and it's great when you're doing a patio and you've got that underneath there's not a lot of digging it's very simple and that's great because you can just top it with a, with a good topsoil that is absolutely solid that's not going anywhere at all but where the problem lies is more than often if you look at that that simply is clay and there's the test for clay you can see when you squeeze it it stays together and to be honest in there there is no stone or grit of any sort. So what they've done, they sifted that through. So sifted soil, when they get all that grit out, is never no good. You really need to source where your soil is coming from. You need a soil that has a good porosity value. So um, developers, uh, and there's a lot on this, uh, on the NHBC uh, working uh, with developers, and NHBC need to change uh, their criteria on what soil goes back into a garden and after the time you don't even know where the soil comes from it could even be contaminated that's it for now enjoy your friday enjoy your daily grind and remember if you can't say anything nice just don't say it at all Outdoors, being in the fresh air, it's just it's just the way I, I made, and uh, I couldn't do an office job in a million years. We are. I like to bring you lots of videos, and uh, I want to bring you what we've come across this morning. So what we have here, we have chippings on top. They've had a new conservatory built, and there's chippings along there. And the idea of that, obviously, is to let the water run away like a French drain. But as you can see, if I expose this now, there we are. Basically, that's the chippings the builders have put in. And along here, you can see, if you come back over here then and look this way for our viewers, let's just take our time with this now. You can see where I've dug it out. There was soil right the way up here, okay? All the way up. There's the foundation on the new conservatory. And you can see, if you get down, You'll be able to have a look across now. It's so important that we try and show our viewers this. You can see all the greening, okay? It's below damp course, granted, 
but the last thing you want is greening is indicative of uh, moisture retention. It's as simple as that, moisture retention. And the reason for that, because the soil was all the way up here, and it wasn't, and there was just like a little bit, a small brief of, of uh, chippings on the top. It wasn't getting away, it wasn't doing nothing, it was holding. But what they've attempted to do here, they've attempted to put a land drain pipe in, okay? And it's a poor account of a land drain pipe. And as you can see, this is not what I've done. There's mud all in the end of it, okay? What's gonna happen, the water's gonna come down and eventually it's gonna erode that soil and it's gonna go down in that pipe and eventually it's gonna silt up along the, along the bottom and sooner than later, it's gonna block. The water's not gonna get away. It's gonna back up. It's, your brickwork's gonna get damp and then because that brickwork is exposed, those two courses below damp course is exposed to the air, it's gonna freeze, it's gonna start frosting and then you're gonna have that expansion effect of the bricks and it's going to start blowing off all the face of work of the brickwork possibly okay but it will have a detrimental effect the other thing of course is they've put this land drain pipe in and they've wrapped the pipe which is it's okay to wrap a pipe but preferably when you dig your trench for your land drain pipe you want to be putting a membrane round the perimeter of the trench you put your pipe in on some bedding and then you backfill with, with pipe bedding and then you you wrap your membrane over the top and that's called a sandwich or a wrap it works it works perfectly and the other thing of course you need to do when you're using um, uh, an aggregate for for pipe bedding you should be using a pea gravel because pea gravel is round and it's river eroded or water hydro uh, uh, eroded pebble so it's nice and round and the water will, will run through rather than putting uh, limestone which is angular and in some cases that I've seen slate. That's about it now. If you want to uh, follow us on YouTube, just subscribe at the end of the video or if you need any information or any help with any projects you're actually doing, give us a ring on 01623 896 007 or you can just email me on info at greentoplandscapes.co.uk. That's it for now. See you soon.